Celebrities seem to have it all. Tons of money, nice cars, expensive clothing and jewelry, and of course, homes worth millions and millions of dollars. Not to say all celebrities act this way, but a large majority tend to blow their fortune on things they don't need, or at least buy unnecessary expensive items. I won't lie, if I could afford a Lamborghini, I would buy one. I have a Honda Civic that works perfectly, but who doesn't want to buy a Lambo? That being said, unfortunately, some people don't have the best money management skills, the right people around them, or just fall into some bad habits that lead to a poor quality of life. Today we'll be counting down the top 10 celebrities that became homeless. How's it going? Hello guys, welcome back to IO, I'm your host Jared Bronstein, and let me know at the end of this one which celebrity surprised you the most. This list contains some former athletes, as well as actors and musicians. We'll end this one off with me replying to some of your comments from a previous video, as well as some bloopers, but for now, let's get right into this one. Starting our list off at number 10, Delonte West. Drafted in the first round of the NBA draft by the Boston Celtics in 2004, playing for the Seattle Supersonics, Cleveland Cavaliers, and Dallas Mavericks. However, over the past few years, West has been spotted around Dallas as well as other cities, appearing to be homeless and asking for money. In 2016, reports first broke that West was seen out begging for money, although he went on record claiming he wasn't homeless and was helping out a paralyzed man nearby who was asking people passing by for change. In 2019, another photo of West started making the rounds with multiple sources claiming he is homeless and battling addiction, as well as suffering from schizophrenia. Another user claiming to be West's cousin stated that he deals with severe mental health issues, something that has been rumored to start taking place during his time with the Cavaliers. Although West has also denied these claims, as recently as January 2020, a video went viral on Twitter of what appears to be West getting beat up in the middle of a road. Turns out the man attacking West was actually the victim, who West hit with a bottle first. In a second video, a shirtless West can be seen handcuffed speaking with police and not making much sense. Of what can be understood, West claims to be the leader of the Navy SEALs, and at one point refers to himself as the real president. He also claims the man that attacked him had a gun, and then when asked where the gun is, he just swears and says I don't know. As of now, West's whereabouts are unknown, but hopefully he gets the help he needs. And at number 9, Gary Glitter. Now the name may not ring a bell immediately, but Gary is most notably known for the song Rock and Roll Part 2, among other gross things. Now look up that song, unfortunately we can't play it for you. But unlike a lot of others on this list, Glitter didn't go homeless due to a lack of money, but instead due to his disgusting past. In 2005, Glitter was convicted of having unwanted relations with a 10 and 11 year old girl while living in Vietnam. In 2006, he was sentenced to just under 3 years in prison, and when he returned to his native country of London, had a tough time finding places to live. Although he could afford luxurious homes and residences, neighbours would complain to landlords that they didn't want this predator living beside them, to which, well, I really don't blame them. Time and time again, Glitter would end up on the streets with quite literally nowhere to go due to the fact that his reputation was known internationally. In 2015, Glitter was once again sentenced to jail, this time for 16 years, for incidences that took place between 1975 and 1980 that relate to the same charges that happened in Vietnam. Although he's been given a permanent home in the form of a jail cell, I'm sure his fellow inmates don't treat him too kindly, at least I hope not. At number 8, Rocky Lockridge. Most famously known for handing Roger Mayweather, Floyd Jr's uncle, his first loss, and winning the WBA Super Featherweight Championship, Lockridge's life unfortunately went into a downward spiral. Drugs got the best of Lockridge, he became homeless and suffered a stroke, which resulted in him needing a cane to walk. However, Lockridge's sons came to the rescue and Lockridge got his taste of fame once again when his segment on the A&E show Intervention went viral. In hopes of helping their father out, the Lockridges appeared on the show and upon Lamar, one of Lockridge's sons crying and saying, because I know somewhere deep down in my heart I still love you, Rocky immediately broke down, crying and somewhat yelling. His reaction to his son's heartwarming words would then go viral, being dubbed best cry ever. Although he would eventually get sober, Lockridge would suffer another series of strokes and eventually pass away on February 7th, 2019 at the young age of 60. Now at number 7, Margot Kidder. Most notably known for playing Lois Lane in the Superman films that were released in the late 70s and early 80s. Although she was known in Hollywood and even dated the likes of comedian Richard Pryor and former Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau, unfortunately it seems mental illness got the best of Kidder. Reports claimed she battled schizophrenia as well as manic depression and would sleep in cardboard boxes as well as locals backyards in the 90s all around Los Angeles. Missing her front teeth with her hair unevenly cut, Kidder allegedly told the woman who found her sleeping in her backyard, I quote, I may not look like it, but I'm Margot Kidder. Thankfully, Kidder eventually turned her life around, having a family in Montana, where she lived until she passed away from what is suspected to be an overdose due to drugs and alcohol in May of 2018. In at number 6, Danny Bonaducci. Starring in the 70s sitcom The Partridge family, Bonaducci was a child star. However, the next couple of decades wouldn't treat him so kindly, as Bonaducci would battle with addictions and have his fair share of run-ins with the law. In hopes of getting back on his feet, Bonaducci would become an on-air personality, hosting multiple radio shows while going in and out of rehab. During one of his shows, Bonaducci admitted to listeners that at one point he was homeless, living in his car behind the famous Groman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood. Although it wasn't the best living conditions, Bonaducci claims he'd still greet fans looking for his autograph. Moving on to number 5, Houston McTair. Dubbed the world's fastest human while still in high school, running a 100-yard 
yard dash in 9 seconds flat, McTair's career didn't pan out as many once thought it would. Hailing from a less fortunate home in Florida, McTair moved to LA in hopes of making a name for himself. Muhammad Ali started a track club built around McTair, thinking the hopeful Olympic star would be the next big thing. In 1976, McTair was kept out of the Summer Olympics due to a hamstring injury. In 1980, his dreams of competing would once again be crushed after the United States would boycott the games altogether. This would lead to McTair falling into some bad habits, mainly abusing narcotics. Eventually, McTair would lose everything, resorting to sleeping on a bench for years on Santa Monica's beach until an older woman rescued him. In 1993, McTair would marry that woman, Swedish sprinter Linda Hagland, and the two would start a family of their own in Sweden. McTair would pass away from lung cancer on November 1st, 2015, at the young age of 58. Now at number four, Randy Quaid, the actor who has been nominated and won a handful of prestigious awards and is known for playing Cousin Eddie in the National Lampoon's Vacation franchise, has had his fair share of troubles following his success. In 2009, Quaid and his wife were arrested after fleeing and failing to pay a $10,000 hotel bill. The following year, Quaid and his wife once again had a run-in with the law, being charged with burglary after spending five days in the guest house of a vacant home they previously owned. Although they claimed the house was wrongfully transferred due to a forged signature, which was not the case. Since Quaid and his wife have had other issues with them fleeing to Canada in hopes of seeking asylum. Although Quaid's wife is Canadian through her parents, when Quaid applied for citizenship through marriage, he was denied back in 2015. As of now, it's believed the two are living in Vermont, where Quaid's wife grew up. And at number three, Natasha Lyonne. In the 90s, Lyonne was killing it in the film industry, landing roles in films such as Dennis the Menace, Slums of Beverly Hills, But I'm a Cheerleader, and most notably, American Pie. However, in years to follow, Leone would have multiple run-ins with the law, including being arrested for DUI. Shortly after, Leone would be evicted from her New York City apartment for missing multiple rent payments and disturbing the peace. She would end up homeless as per the New York Post, but would eventually turn her life around, landing a role in the smash hit Netflix series Orange is the New Black, which she got an Emmy nomination for. Moving on to number two, Sly Stone. The frontman of Sly and the Family Stone, who were responsible for hits such as Everyday People, Family Affair, and Dance to the Music, to name a few, ended up losing everything. At one point, Stone owned multiple homes across the US, as well as a vineyard in Napa Valley. But after years of poor money management, substance abuse, and excess, he lost everything. Stone now lives out of his van and has been doing so for the past decade. Although going from a 5,400 square foot mansion in Beverly Hills to a van sitting alongside the curb in Crenshaw would discourage people, Stone seems to enjoy it. In an interview with the New York Post, Stone said he continues making music with his laptop out of his van and went on to say, I quote, I like my small camper. I just do not want to return to a fixed home. I cannot stand being in one place. I must keep moving, end quote. Now in a number one, Sugar Ray Williams, the former captain of the New York Knicks and 10th overall pick in the 1997 NBA draft, would spend 10 years playing in the NBA before filing for bankruptcy in 1994 following his retirement. Finally, would end up with Williams losing his house as well as family, so he decided to apply early for his $200,000 NBA pension. After receiving the pension, Williams would move to Florida, where he would fall victim to a real estate scam, making it even harder on him financially. This would lead to him working odd jobs, coaching local basketball teams, working maintenance in apartments, and even working in a bakery to name a few. During this time, he would also receive grants from the NBA Retired Players Association, totaling to about $10,000, which unfortunately did not help him much. Williams would then be reported homeless, living out of a broken down 1992 Buick in Florida. Eventually, Williams' luck would turn around, getting employed by his hometown's recreation department. He would go on to marry Linda Crawford, a friend and nurse who also helped him get back on his feet. However, in 2013, on March 22nd, Williams would pass away due to colon cancer. And there you guys have it for the top 10 celebrities that became homeless. Let me know in the comments below which one surprised you the most. Some of these names may not look too familiar to you guys, but a quick Google search will have you going, oh, it's that guy? No way. Just trust me on that one. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video. TikTok room challenge is a hoax. Emlo the puppet said, literally everything from TikTok is a hoax. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's mainly like 12 and 13 year olds and you really can't trust anything they do. So I'm joking guys. All the 12 and 13 year olds that watch this, you're, you're awesome. Ian O'Keefe said, TikTok user does the broom challenge and succeeds. Laws of physics. Am I a joke to you? <laughs> First, Ian, are you the son of uh, the Leafs coach, Shannon O'Keefe, I think is his name? Because that's pretty cool if, that, if you're commenting on my videos. But anyways, side note. Actually, no, because physics is why the broom itself is being kept up, because the base of it is gravity. It's not a word, but we'll just go with it. Andrea Ha said, ooh, I could do the broom challenge too, guys. Me, sweeping my floor. Yeah, see, that's the broom challenge all these kids need to do. Clean up your rooms. <sighs> I'm gonna be such a good dad. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. We got some bloopers you guys don't wanna miss out on, and we'll see you guys in the next one. But then again, if I, you know, had school loans to pay off, I probably wouldn't buy a Lambo. Drafted in the first round by the Boston Celtics in 2004, Drafted in the first round of the NBA draft by the ball. Drafted in the first round of the NBA draft by the Boston. Se Here we go again. <laughs> you gotta 
loosen the shoulders. Pull up McGregor, baby. And disturbing the peace. I spelled peace like P-I-E-C instead of P-E-A-C.